everyone. My name is Brendan Miller, Regional Maintenance Manager here at Paper Transport. And today we're going to take a look at the brand new 2024 Volvo. Um, first thing we want to take a look at is the front of the truck here. Um, like all of our PTI trucks, we're going to have the crash mitigation system um, down here in the bumper. Um, obviously, that's going to be a big safety feature um, for us here at Paper Transport. Um, and we're going to spec all of our trucks with that. Um, a thing that the Volvos have that we're starting to see in a lot of our new trucks as well is the new LED headlights. Um, kind of, you know, it's a, a feature that we've, that we're starting to see in a lot more, um, kind of get it rid of the, the bulbs, um, and hopefully a lot less light bulbs need to get changed with LED lights. Um, tires, we have all the same tires on our Volvos that we, as we do in all of our other units. Um, we're going to run with the Michelin X-Line Energy tires on the steers. And then when we get to the back of the truck, you'll see that we have this, the same Michelin tires on the back as well. Um, another thing we want to call it that's a little bit different, different on our Volvo trucks. Um, is kind of where the batteries are located and how to turn the disconnect switch off on the batteries. Um, so to access the batteries, you're actually going to pull back the, the side fairing here on the truck. Um, the batteries are underneath this cover here, and that's how you would access the batteries. But then on top of it, the disconnect switch is actually this metal lever right back here. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to reach than what we're used to, like inside the cab, but we still want to know where that is to make sure that we can access it um, when we need to shut our batteries off. Um, another thing we want to point out here is right here underneath the batteries is we have the air tanks. So when you're doing, we need to drain your air tanks daily, it's going to be right here underneath the batteries. Um, so all this is kind of housed in one area. So that's kind of a good thing to point out um, and to know where it's at. So I'm putting it back together. It's relatively simple. Um, you have the two levers and you're just going to push, push the fairing back into place and then snap the two clips back in place um, to get it to lock back in. Um, big thing with that is you want to make sure you only open this. Um, when the door is closed, otherwise you're going to have some issues getting it back closed if you try to open it with the door open. So right here on the Volvos, we actually do have shore power on the Volvos. So um, if, the, if you're able to, um, like here at like mass, or at locations like Master Fleet where you have shore power, you can actually hook your truck up to shore power and have power inside the cab um, for when you're parked. And that's going to help us reduce our idle, which is a huge goal of ours this year. Um, as we move back to the back of the truck, um, we do also have some cargo space here. Um, like most of our trucks do, and this is a door that you can actually open um, from the inside of the cab to, for some storage space. So if you need oil, coolant, anything that you need to be, anything you need stored, you can store it right in here. Um, and then again, we'll move back again towards the back end of the truck. Um, everything's kind of standard here with the air lines and the electrical lines. Um, rack them up on the back of the truck. Um, and then again, as we were talking earlier about the Michelin tires, um, we have the Michelin tires on the back end of the truck too. Um, obviously, paper transport, we run the super single standard on all of our trucks. Um, so here we have that again. So one really, really cool feature about these 2024 Volvos that we have um, is actually this dynamic steering. Um, this is not anything we have any of our other trucks. So what it is, um, is it's actually going to reduce the vibrations that you're feeling while you're driving down the road. And it's also going to help counteract crosswinds that the truck feels. So the truck's got built-in sensors. When there's a crosswind, it's going gonna, it's gonna to correct back. Um, against that crosswind. So this is going to be, at, sitting in the driver's seat, this is going to make your drive much, much more comfortable um, than you're probably used to. Um, and it's a, it's, really, it's a feature we're really excited about to, to offer to our drivers. Another great feature of the Volvo trucks is going to be the transmission that the Volvo trucks use. Um, it's really great because it's going to allow the shifting to be really smooth as you're going between gears. Um, you know, sometimes trucks of this size, they can shift pretty hard, but the, the Volvo, the iShift, is really going to allow that for a smooth transition between gears. Um, so for the driver, for you guys, it's going to be really nice to, to, to drive this truck, and it's going to be a real comfortable drive. Okay, so on the interior of the Volvo trucks, there's a lot of storage. Um, and back here on the bunk end, we've got, we've got storage on both sides. We've got cabinets all along um, behind the driver's seat here, um, cup holders, chargers, um, drawers and tables to kind of store everything that you need. Um, and then on the right hand side, you've got more storage, um, a closet type area, and then um, more storage for what we got here. And then we've also got a TV stand. So if you have a TV you want to mount, you can put it there. Um, you can also use a space for a small microwave. Um, kind of whatever you think you want to do to kind of make your truck your own. All right, so on the back end, we've obviously got the two bunk system here. Um, so the lower bunk is on the bottom, and then we've got another bunk on the top that you can pull down. Um, and a lot of times you can use this to put some extra storage up here if you want to use this area, um, but it's also a secondary bunk um, as well. Um, really easy to pull it down. All you do is you just pull the lever down, and it's going to come down, and it's got um, two things to rest on to keep it into place. Um, also back here on the bunk end, um, 
We've got additional tables back here um, for when you're sitting in the bunk and you just want some more comfortability space of, you know, setting something on here if you're sitting in the bunk and you're you're parked for the night and you, you just want a space to kind of put some stuff. Um, you also have some climate controls, some radio controls back here from the bunk as well. Um, this is also where you'll be able to access um, the inverter to turn it on and off. Um, and then the inverter actually is located um, right underneath the bunk here. So underneath the bunk is some additional storage that you can actually access from inside the cab. And then earlier when we were looking at um, the access from the outside, that's actually where you would access that as well. So you can get your triangles, any straps you have underneath there. Um, you have the inverters located underneath there, but then you also have an area to kind of get some of your personal things out of the way. So um, again, the Volvo, it's a really great thing about the Volvo. There's a lot of storage in it. Um, a lot of, lot, of, lot of easy ways to keep, keep your truck nice, clean and organized. All right, another great thing about the, the Volvo trucks um, is they've got a lot of ventilation on both sides of the truck. So you've actually got two windows on each side, so you've got four windows to work with. Um, and you can actually pop these open um, and ventilate the inside of the cab. So it's really nice, um, you know, if, if the truck's start, if you're starting to get a lot of heat in the truck, um, you can pop the, the windows open and get some ventilation in here and get some air moving around. Um, another great thing is, like all of our trucks, the Volvo also has um, the bunk heater inside of it. So the nice, the nice thing about the bunk heater is it's going to get this cab really, really, really warm in the winter. Um, so again, with the controls back here, it's going to be really easy to, to get the truck warm in the winter when you need it to. All right, so um, another thing that, I, that the Volvo trucks have that we do have on most of our other trucks as well is we have the double curtain system. So we have curtains that will actually close back the bunk, but then we also have curtains that are going to close on the windshield. Um, big important to close in these curtains. Um, it allows you to really cool down your bunk, especially while you're driving during the day. Um, either cool down or heat it up depending on the time of the year. Um, that's really important because if you can get this cab temperature to cool down, it's going to allow you to the truck to not have to idle as much to get to get it cool. So that you know when you're in the truck um, trying to get your rest for the night, um, when you're off duty, um, the the cab's going to be comfortable for you, and it's going to reduce um, the idle time, which um, is something that we really want to target. So um, that's why these these curtains are really important. They they do a really good job of keeping hot air in and cold air in or opposite. So depending on the time of the year, so really important to make sure you use those because um, um, it's really going to make, make the, the experience here in the truck a lot more comfortable for you. All right, so now we're sitting in the driver's seat of the 2024 Volvo. Um, Want to talk about the dash a little bit. So here on kind of your right-hand um, panel here, you've got your ELD, the tablet, platform science, um, and then you've got your radio, and then actually over here on the right-hand side is where you're going to have um, your shift. So from reverse neutral drive, um, you're actually going to shift it over here with these buttons. Um, it's a little bit different than what we have on some of our other our other trucks, so it's kind of good to note that that's where that's going to be. Um, cab climate control is going to be right here along with the trailer brake um, and the parking brake. Um, and then all of our additional auxiliary switches that we use on the truck. Um, so traction control, fifth wheel release, um, the, and, and locking the rear differential, those kind of switches are going to be here. Um, and then we kind of come here to the, the steering wheel and then the, the dash here behind the steering wheel. Um, kind of some key things to note with the, the steering wheel. There's a lot of buttons and features part of the steering wheel. So as the driver, you're not reaching all over the cab um, to try to, to, to do different things. It's a huge safety feature that we can keep our hands on, both hands on the steering wheel um, and do a lot of the functions that you need to as a driver right here from the steering wheel. Um, so if we want to turn the truck on. Let it run its little test. And then we're going to be able to start. Um, so like most trucks um, that we see nowadays, there's a digital portion to the dash that's going to give us some information about the truck. Um, so as you can see, we have um, right there on the top, big thing for us to watch is going to be our MPG on the truck. Um, that's going to be a key thing we want to try to, to do the best we can with. So it's kind of good to have that right there on the dash. Um, but it's also going to give you the battery voltage. And then like most vehicles, you're going to have your RPM, your speed, um, the fuel level, and then you're also going to have your, the air pressure in the tanks as well. And all that's going to be right here on the dash for you to, to check out and take a look at. Um, there's a lot of features that you can play around with um, on the dash. Um, so as you kind of get into the new trucks, it'll be kind of 
good just to go through and see all the different things that you can see um, on the on the truck and um, just make sure that you're you're using every all the abilities of the truck uh, that you can. All right, so for the tablet we've got here, um, obviously it's going to be our platform science tablet that we have in all of our trucks. Um, really key thing, obviously, this is going to tell you where you're going to go, where you need to go. Um, and it's also a great way for you to report any maintenance issues um, and then get any other additional documents or anything as you're driving down the road that you may not have physically with you. Um, it's also a great way to communicate with your driver manager through messages or through your equipment manager um, if you need to report any, any maintenance issues.